Hi, Veer. Hello, Martin. So you are an app modernization solution manager at Google, right? And you have an app for us to modernize today? Yes, we have a legacy two-tier Node.js application running on a VM. And we want to modernize it using serverless technologies. The VM is costing us money 24 by 7. Also, we have to assign someone with the right operation skills to maintain it. We'd like Google to do that for us. All right. And does the team running this app know containers? Uh, the team has started the containerization journey. They considered Kubernetes, but they don't have enough experience with that. Hmm. A lot of organizations are in that place. Uh, let's migrate the app for them using Cloud Run, which doesn't require them to learn Kubernetes. This is what the app UI looks like. It's a simple to-do list application. Let me add a couple of to-do list items about modernizing this application. Got it. Uh, what does the architecture look like? Uh, here it is, a web front end, a Node.js backend, and a MongoDB database. The HTML and JavaScript for web front end is served by the Node.js backend. Does the app use server-side sessions or any other storage outside the database? No, it's a simple app where all the users see the same content. All the data is in the database. Let's keep the database as is for now. We'll move the Node.js backend and the serving of HTML to Cloud Run. Then we can shut down that VM. Makes sense. Uh, let's look at the database machine for a minute. We need to set up a serverless VPE connector from Cloud Run to this database. Right. Uh, let me click the serverless VPC connector option here, and then I'll create one. I'll give it a name, and I'll use all the default settings. And now let's create it. Uh, this will take a minute, so let's get started on the next step. Let's have a look at the source code here. This is a Git repo, which is good. Most of the enterprises want their code protected, especially when the development is done offshore or remotely. Think COVID, right? I'm going to use a browser, browser-based editor that works like VS Code, but doesn't depend on my workstation. Good idea. Editing the code in the cloud also means that it doesn't matter what version of Node.js, NPM, etc., that you or I have on our laptops. Right. First, I'll open the Google Cloud Shell here, which gives me a command line in the cloud. Now that I have a command line, I can run a Git clone of this repo. All right. And then you'll edit it in the cloud? Yeah. Um, I'll click here to start the cloud editor. This editor looks and feels similar to a traditional editor, like VS Code, running on my laptop. But it runs in the cloud. All right. The Cloud Run docs uh, say that our code should listen on a port defined by the port environment variable. Yeah, here it is. Um, looks like the existing code already does that, so we don't have to change anything. If the port had been hard-coded here, we'd have to change it. Right. Uh, how does the code connect to the database, Bear? Uh, let's see. Um, Looks like it reads the connection parameters from the environment variables as well. Who wrote this application know what they were doing? Yeah, well done. Uh, Veer, uh, do you think we should write a Docker file and build a container ourselves for this app? Well, uh, we could. It's not very hard. But the team isn't very comfortable with containers yet. So let's deploy from source code and use uh, build packs instead. Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. It's a Node app, so we should probably run npm install first. OK, doing so now. Um, now that all the packages have been installed, I will prep the gcloud run deploy command. Right. Uh, we need to tell Cloud Run about the VPC connector and the environment variables. Absolutely. We could also set all that in uh, Google Cloud Console. But the team wants things done from the command line so they can automate it later. Here is the gcloud run command. 
with all the environment variables with database connection parameters. I'm also adding the VPC connector. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Let's run it. Uh, it's asking me a few follow-up questions here about uh, region and such. I'll answer them. All right. Looks like the build is running. Uh, let me open the build log here in the cloud console. Uh huh. Yeah, it looks like things are happening here. Uh, the build pack is taking our source code and building a container from it without us having to create a Docker file or, or know anything about containers. Uh, that makes it easy for developers. Looks like the build is done now. Um, look at the container registry, please. Uh -huh. uh, ah, there is our container. Now let's go to the cloud run in the console. Let's see. Uh, yep, there's our deployed service. Uh, the URL is shown here. Uh, let's hit it. Hmm. Um, look at that. The app is working. And we are seeing the same to-do list items in the UI as before when this app was running in the virtual machine. And now I can mark these two to-do list items that I created before as done. Right. Uh, that reminds me. Uh, we don't uh, really need that virtual machine anymore, do we? Uh, we don't. Uh, let's turn it off. All right. I'm navigating to virtual machines. Uh, there it is. And I'm deleting it. Feels good, doesn't it? We moved code from virtual machine that was costing us money 24 by 7 to Cloud Run, where we pay for CPU and memory usage only when the request is being served. If we get less traffic at night, we pay less. And if we get no traffic on weekends, we don't pay anything at, anything at all. Right. And even if the container is ready to serve requests, we don't pay anything until an actual request comes in. Also, we don't have to assign anyone to maintain the virtual machine. Uh, Veer, uh, will the team build new versions of this web app? Yeah, I think they probably will need a CI-CD pipeline for that. But that will be a story for another day. Sounds good to me. Thank you for watching, everyone. If you have any questions for Veer or me, let us know in the comments. Also, let us know what you thought of today's episode and other serverless topics you'd like to see in the future. Until next time. Thank you.